Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer. We're playing as the Empire. This is episode 6. Now, if you haven't gone and watched the last episode, unfortunately, we lost the Siege of Bretonia. But I still think it's in our best interest to push that way. Uh, a couple of really nice settlements here, some trade, and I imagine the Chaos Warriors won't... Well, push down there to likely. They're going through my other lands at the moment. So, we currently have Belthazar Gelt at uh, Marienburg. Most of my artillery and crossbow skirmishes survived, however, most of my infantry was depleted. We have Elderbrand here picking up the slack and recruiting some more. Up in the north, we have the Chaos, uh, Chaos factions coming in, Scaling and Varg. We have half a stack here with Treasurer Theo. Uh, five units of swordsmen, three crossmen and two mortars. And we have Balthazar Geld at Talabheim. Talabheim. Um, with a pretty rather decent force here. So, let's have a look at our victory conditions. We need to start heading towards them. So, we need to control all provinces either uh, control all provinces of the empire either by direct ownership or through vassal or military allies now i really probably should have had a got, got a lot more military allies so we need osterland which uh, <laughs> is currently well burnt to the ground <laughs> um, where are we we need ostermark which um, i'm probably actually going to go in this episode and get alliance with uh, ostermark so, here as well, we also need, what else, Stirland, Everland, and Weissenland, Weissland, um, which is currently under the control with from the Border Princes. Further down our victory conditions, we need to reclaim Slovenia, um, Eastern and West, and we need to ensure that military presence belonging to the Chaos Warriors exists only in the Chaos region. So, basically the plan for the episode is we're going to try and get as many military allies as we can. We're also needing to push back these Vargan scaling forces. Once we've done with that and we're in a better position, we'll probably push over and take out the Vampire Counts after the war against Bretonia. Once we're done with that, ideally I would like a full stack in the north to keep Chaos back until we hit our victory conditions and then uh, probably recap the campaign and uh, end it there. But uh, this is episode 16. We've had a fair few number of episodes. I don't think the campaign's going to be finishing anytime soon, but uh, that's just the general plan, the general consensus. So guys, if you haven't already hit that like button and subscribed, I'd really much appreciate it. Also check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. So, Stirland, let's negotiate with them now. We can... Okay, that's an option. We can... They can join our confederation, or we can get a military alliance with them. I'm sort of umming and ahhing whether or not to let them join my confederation. Um, obviously, I get to control the lands, but then I have to dictate their armies and such. Um, or a military alliance. I quite like Stirland. So, Stirland is quite big. They have Wurt Bad. The m the moot <laughs> the moot I think it might be all right. So they have a couple couple of territories here. I'm just sort of wondering, am I better to just let them do their own thing? I quite like, but then obviously, yeah, just letting them do their own thing. But if we join the confederation, we're going to have to put our own money in to sort of fix up this. I don't know what am I best to sort of do. How many regions do Stirland have? They have three, but if they join my confederation, they might just get pushed by the vampires a lot more. It's a difficult decision. What about Ostermark? Would they join my military? No, they wouldn't join actually my confederation, but Stirland would. That's interesting. Um, I think we should get a confederation with Stirland. We'll get the land. We'll probably have to disband their armies because we're not going to get enough. But I'm going to try and squeeze out as much money as possible. I will try to get a battle in today's part, but we had a huge siege not too long ago. So if you want to go see that, I highly recommend you do. We need to do some diplomacy. So we'll ask them to join my confederation. They've rejected. The more money we can squeeze out of them, the better. Uh, probably go 500 there. Accepted. So Stirland is a part of the Empire, but now we're losing 400 per turn, which is unfortunate. 
we have to now address their armies. Now, obviously, we've adopted a fair few of their generals, which is unfortunate because you can't get rid of generals unless you go and kill them off. And that's nuking 288 upkeep per turn. What level are you? I might even just suicide you and go get you killed, to be honest, because um, we can always get more generals later on. Right. There's an army here with Dirk, who's level 3. I'm half tempted to get you killed off as well. So we've got some Empire Knights in this army, and Pistoliers. Expensive. I'm probably not really going to use that army, but now we're bordering with the Vampire Counts, which is a problem. Have we adopted any more armies? Let's have a look at our forces and go through them. So Carl Franz is here. Obviously, Balthazar Geralt. So, okay, the armies of Stirland weren't actually overly that massive. I do believe you, actually, Alberich, was the faction leader, maybe? I have no idea. But what I'm going to do is, I was going to disband these units, because we need to get our money up, and I might just suicide you guys against Varg. I don't want you, and you're going to cost us a hell of a lot of money. Like I said, 288 here. You're only level 3. We've already got my own general, so we'll go and just quickly run them and get rid of them. Right, so we've got Wurtbad here. What is in this region? So there's great, there's a Shrine of Sigma here, which gives us Cathedral of Sigma, bloody hell. So an armory, and, oh wow, okay. Do we even have a barracks in Altdorf? Wow, no. So, Wurtbad here actually is bigger than Altdorf. That is amazing. We can actually recruit demigriff knights from here and great swords. Before I go and suicide you off, stay at work bad. What I'm going to do is, because we need these guys up here anyway, but what I want to do is basically, um, I was basically I was going to get this eventually at Altdorf, but that's actually worked quite well. So there's a vineyard here, okay. So another Shrine of Sigma here, tavern. And growth, right? And then they have SCN, which has what exactly? Horses, cattle ranch, and a tailor. Right. I'm going to need an army to protect myself against the vampire counts because I imagine they're attacked. Currently, diplomacy wise, we're at war with Varg, scaling the Greenskins, the Warriors of Chaos, and Bretonia. Let's negotiate with the Greenskins, see if they want peace. No. Let's negotiate with the vampire counts for a non aggressional pact. Uh, if you can give us a little bit of money. We just need to... The thing is, right, I fucking hate the Vampire Counts, obviously. I am Emperor Karl Franz. I want to obliterate them eventually, but uh, you sort of need to pick and choose who you're at war with at the moment. Right, um, let's negotiate with Ostermark for a... We'll renegotiate with them later. Um... Let's make a defensive alliance, get some money out of them. Because, if I go with a military, they're not going to probably want a confederation later on, which is probably what I want from them. Right, Kislev. Okay, you're actually quite happy with me. You've only got a couple of territories left. Would you like trade? Low. Right. The Border Princes, the next big faction I want to deal with, um, they have a lot of regions here. What I'm going to do is, because what's my relations with you guys? So what's the sort of problem here? Great power, there's nothing we can change. Treaties with Karak Norn. Um, obviously a Dwarven Kingdom. I don't particularly care about the Dwarves except for the Dwarves faction. I say Dwarves, because that's why they are not Dwarves. They're spelled W D uh, oh, fuck me. D W A R F Fs. They're pronounced dwarfs. And in Tolkien's Um It's Dwarves. So Right, so I'm just sort of seeing why they like me. So what I want to do with the border princes, because they have a lot of territories. They've got a, they've got empire territories. They push really far up here. Right, so I would ideally like to get an unaggressional pact. I will offer to break I'm half tempted to offer to break my trade agreement with Karak Norn. We are getting 430... Wow, we're actually getting 432 from them. I'm quite happy to break my non-aggressional pact. Fuck them, to be honest. 
And we'll also give you a bit of money. I'm just sort of curious to see their... I wouldn't give them two, like nearly 3,000. I'm just curious to see their opinion on that. So what we're going to have to do is to increase our opinion of them. Uh, we can break out... Mm, we'll just start off with a payment. We'll offer them a small gift of 900. Because we need to start getting good relations with the Border Princes. So let's give them a gift of 900. And should we break our non-aggressional pact with the Dwarfs? I don't want to, but then it does risk our trade agreement, of course, which is giving us three, uh, four thousand, uh, four thousand, sorry, not four thousand, four hundred and thirty-two per turn. But it will increase our our opinion with the uh, the border princes. Hang on, so border princes, I will break non-aggressional pact with Karak Norn. Would you give me a payment for that? If they gave me back the money I just gave them, we're bloody laughing. <laughs> so now we've improved our relations uh, with them. It's gone from a minus 12 to 6. Well, I want to be able to get an alliance with them because we need more allies. I feel like we've got too many sort of, not really enemies, but uh, yeah. Kislev, probably don't want anything. Let's sort by attitude. So the dwarfs are sort of next in line here. Karak Ziflin. Artos. Do you want trade? Border princes don't want trade just yet. I'm just sort of saying these Bretonian kingdoms. They won't particularly want trade. Alrighty. We will need an army over here at some point. Um, I might keep... Oh, Durek can actually know he's in a different stance, so we can't actually recruit there. Right, let's get these great swords underway. We, we need great swords more than anything, if I'm being honest. So let's get two of them underway. Um, we can always get Demigriff Knights later on. What I'm worried about is now that we've acquired these territories, they're probably going to be uh, in risk. We're probably going to be risking and getting attacked. So I would like an army here, ideally. We'll rally up with Balthazar Gelt. And then we'll see how we go. Right, 706. So how is like sort of my territories going? Let's do a, just a, a construction and overview of my region. So how's my chaos and vampiric corruption going? Point one, it's fine here in Reichland. In the wasteland, it's looking good. It's actually getting him on its two. Mid and land, good. I don't want to fuck this up. This is obviously a blind campaign through, so we are taking a little bit slow and careful. This is my uh, first Total War Warhammer campaign playing as the Empire. So, we can... Okay, what are we going with here? Let's get with the anti-vampiric corruption, because we're bang smack next to the vampire counts, because we've already got a minus 7 vampiric corruption. How about here? 11. Crikey. We need to get the anti-corruption, but... In Ostermark, there's already one. We're getting a confederation, minus 8 public order and 40% relations with empires. Okay, right. Supply lines. Right, so, um, I think that's pretty much all we can do this turn. Let's end the turn and continue. How long did that go for? 13 fucking minutes we spent on that turn. My god. Just reading the timer next to me. God damn. But I feel like we've recapped a lot. Um... And uh, I hope you guys sort of know the standing, the feel, and the overall of the campaign thus far. Right, Varg and Scaling are pushing more in, and we've just had an abundance of cash. Nicely done. 8,200. That's uh, quite insane. So we've got raiding going over in most of the provinces, which is fine. We're going to break down what? Cattle Ranch gives us growth. We're not going to re... Oh, there's no harm in keeping growth there, actually. Oh, no, you're already tier 3, so you can't grow anymore. There's literally no point. And I'm pretty sure that's max as well. So let's break you down. What else does get replenishment? Um, I don't think we really need replenishment. We need that... Ant that. Oh, but we need Ostermark, don't we? There's no harm in getting two of the corruption sort of buildings. Um, tier... Uh, uh, level 3 general... 288, he's just costing so much. I'm going to have to get rid of you, I'm afraid. We'll keep you here just for the time being because you're recruiting. There's no harm of put. There's, there's no point of pushing you back just because you're level 3 to recruit. 
So basically, what I want to do is try to get as many great swords as possible. Max this out as best we can. I <laughs> nearly put all our money into great swords, I think. Because these guys are fucking awesome once we get into them. Right, so we're currently being besieged here at Marienburg by Bretonia. Uh, with their faction leader. So what I want to do is, is I want to move in Elderbrand. How is Belthazar Gelt looking? Right, if we attack Elderbrand, what are the odds? Oh wow, that is actually very, very much in our favour. Even with our garrison. Look at that, nearly 95. We're coming up against three Grail Knights, one Knights of the Realm, one unit of mounted Yeoman Archers, and three Pegasus Knights. A field trebuchet. Alright, that's all to resolve that. It's going to be a clear victory. I only lost 309, we out- they only had 418. Wow, that's insane. So, let's execute the captives and continue. Right. Let's now rally up with Belthazar Gelt, move him out, and we'll put these units in. Right, Belthazar Gelt, where are you, my friend? You got a full stack, let's run down the rem uh, remaining Bretonians. Oh, wow, why is that sort of... a little bit different there? We'll be fine, though. Alright, so we've knocked out their their faction leader for the time being. Obviously in Total War Warhammer, you can't actually kill um, legendary lords. They do get wounded, but if they keep on getting back, to, they keep on getting smashed, they can get this trait which uh, scars them. So what I want to do is I want to basically throw you in and suicide you. Right, how are we going here? They're coming along nicely. We're losing 1,500 per turn. Where are my... the Varg armies? Okay. It's five turns until we can wait to get another confederation. Kislev. There's no harm squeezing some money out of Ostermark for military access. The more money we can accumulate, the better. Alright, Border Princes, how are you, my friends? Twelve going to five, let's offer some more money. Just slowly... One thousand, that's a lot. But we're getting on our way. How's it? How's their attitude ch changing now? It's currently eight. It's minus eight, but it's going to go to a, a fifteen. So we're getting a nineteen from the gifts. Alright, the more money we can get to them, the better. Alright, um, what should I do with you, Carl Franz? A couple of Varg armies pushing, but they're not going to be able to do anything. They can just raid whatever, I really couldn't care. They're not going to be able to take any of these territories now anyway. With that newly sorted af after wine, does that mean we're going to get a lot more trade rights or something? Kislev, you guys are so stubborn. Right, how are we going for time? 18 mil minutes into the park. Okay. Let's have the turn to continue. We've got a lot of stats to go through now. Oh, okay, right. Th um, Theo here. What can you go with? We can go with more public order. It's probably not a bad idea and get the reduction in vampiric corruption because I don't really sort of have you in the field. S Elder Brand as well. Balthazar Gelt. So what can we go with you here? Metal shifting. Plague of rust. It's a hex. Glittering robe. Or golden hound. It's a vortex. Alright, what else can you sort of do? No, we'll go with that. What other items can you have? Because I think we... Got a couple before. Just sort of reading through here. There's a couple of banners here we can use. There was one I just saw. Leadership, sure. Uh, we can go with another leadership, can we? Two leaderships. Right, what else can Belthazar go get? Pit fighter, plus eight, seven melee attack. 
Right, let's, uh, we need to get into a battle to sort that stuff out, don't we? The banners. We can't do it here, I don't think. No, we have to get into the deployment. Right, what else we've got to do here? Alright. Wind blast or thundering thunderbolt. Let's go with thunderbolt. Because we have a celestial wizard here. So let's get both as our guilt. Are you? And once he's ready. So 2,600 and... 2, yeah, right. We need more great sword. That's where that's probably going to go to. But in saying that, if we don't have the money to support them, there's not really a point of having them. Right, let's end the turn and continue. Like I said, I will try to get a battle in today's part, but we'll just sort of have to see how it goes. If I'm being honest. Okay, a couple of warriors of chaos in the north. Bretonia's trying to do something here. Throwing more agents to halt Balthazar Gilt's advance. Oh my god, what an agent spam here. Four, uh, sorry, three going in. That's uh, not good for me. Not good whatsoever. So scaling, I'm uh, moving a little bit around here. So they've attacked my general here who I couldn't give a flying fuck about. I hope you kill him so I lose the 288 um, upkeep. Because <clears throat> I really just don't want that. Okay, I'm sick of Varg just running around my lands. There's not really a point of running them down. We can't catch them. So we might as well just let them. So we've killed that Lord off, which is perfectly fine with me. I, there is a mod, I do know, that you can get a plus 10 percent movement in your own territory. But so can the other factions. I would rather not have any mods. We have the advanced camera ma mod on this, but apart from that. Right, we need to move Balthazar Guild back. We need to replenish a little bit more. Right, how are we sort of going here with the great swords? They are coming slowly but surely. Let's not move you this way. Let's move you this way around the world. Right, so how are we sort of doing here? The Vampiric and the Chaos Corruption is, is fine, if I'm being honest. Right, we have that spare slot here. Let's move... Let's build the Shrine to Sigma. Three turns until we can get a confederation with Ostermark. Maybe. Cross... Cross our fingers. I command here. Oh, wow. This Chaos Corruption here is getting a little bit out of hand. You can actually see the... The land changing. It's because they have a... Um, oh, my God. A level 15 agent here. Christ. 900 to repair and we can't. It is time. Stop you for a minute. Repair. It's because there's only tier 1 here. Yeah, point 0.8. And this was the last place we had our anti-chaos corruption. Man. We're also getting a minus 8 public order in all my regions. Because of the confederation. But, um, I think it's time to end the the episode here. We might end the turn and do one more end turn and then see if anything interesting happens. But And we'll do the, the next turn at the start of the next. Okay, the Warriors of Chaos are pushing down here. A rather large force. What do Ostermark want? A military alliance. Um, no, sorry. I want a uh, confederation. Bretonia's pushing back with their agents, except for one. Kislev moving an agent. Scaling and Varg still raiding, and they've hit... Uh, SN. SN. Um, yeah, let's just sort of resolve that and see what happens. Oh, close victory. Fair enough. It's because this territory doesn't have any walls, which is a bloody shame. Varg pushing further down. I beg your pardon. Warriors of Chaos have been obliterated. There's nothing left appearing... How? Did Ostermark fucking throw them back, did they? <laughs> they must have. Kislev and Ostermark must have buggered them a bit. Now they've been pushed back to the wastes. Okay. Fair enough, then. That's uh, incredibly interesting. Right, let's get ready to push into Bretonia once our replenishment gets up. We're losing 863 per turn. That's because we just got these 
great swords coming in. Um, so I'm probably going to have to disband and uh, some of these swordsmen. Even though they're not too bad of a unit, but it's just that we can't have them. And we're, we're losing a fair amount from raiding. 782. Kemper bad is not looking good whatsoever. We've got a couple of problems here. But guys, I have to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram all in the description below. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay tuned for some more Total War Warhammer. We're playing as the Empire. There's a lot, of, there's a lot more exciting things to come. So take care. Goodbye.